So hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm starting this vlog in a bit of a bad spot because first of all I am in my PJs and I'm soon going to bed. And I am going to start to read the first book for this vlog and you like know what this vlog is in theory because of the title and the thumbnail etc. As I'm planning it right now. But since I don't want to like explain and go through like the things I plan to say because I was going to start this vlog earlier today but then I didn't. I just want to start like this introductory little little clip here to say that I am starting A Diary of Blood and I'm trying to finish it before going to sleep. It is right now midnight and hopefully I will finish it within an hour. I was supposed to read this earlier today but you know I procrastinated and then tomorrow morning if I had finished it etc I will like go to the introductory stuff, share my thoughts on it etc. So so sorry for this weird beginning of this vlog but I feel like I couldn't have started without like having said anything here. I assume you know what it is but if not then I am gonna read Cecilia Reed's favorite books and I'm gonna judge them. <laughs> I will show you more of the books tomorrow etc. Hope you're excited for this vlog and you will see me really, really, really soon. Like, the second after I finish saying this. Okay, so it is the next day, and I thought now I can film this. Introduce you properly to this video. Hello, I am filming a vlog where I read, I don't really know what to call it yet as I'm filming this, I'm gonna figure out a proper title, but like, I'm gonna read YouTubers, you know, booktubers' favorite books, and then like review them and see if I, you know, like their same favorite books and I started off with Cecilia from Cecilia Reads, one of my bestest friends and uh, she recommended me five books but then one of them I had already read which was We Had the Flame and my judgment of this is that I actually didn't like this. It was one of my most anticipated releases and I was just very disappointed in how it turned out especially where the relationship of the two main characters did not understand why that was a thing. It was just... Not for me at all. But that was just a quick judgment of like one of Cecilia's favorite books. That's what we are here to do. But Cecilia is, you know, co-host for Face and Guess, our book club where we read queer stuff and fantasy every month. And we do tend to have the same thoughts really often of those books. I feel like we have the same taste in general. So I feel like hopefully I will like most of these. I have a little bag here with the favorites. I actually don't know to show you them all at once or show you them as I read them. Maybe just show you them as I read them so I don't like talk about them now and then again that will be boring. Clearly you can see how well I planned this out. But yeah, last night as I said, I did read An Hour of Blood by Asti G G Gibson. This obviously Cecilia loves, obviously. And I would say that I adored it. It was so good. I really, really liked it. Like, I think I'm giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars right now. But you'll see how I feel about the end of the vlog where, like, you know, I will wrap up my thoughts on all of them. But it is a poly, bisexual vampire story set over 700 years. We have a main character who, like, tells the story of her life as a vampire and how it was to be, I was gonna say, under the person who made her and it's like found family and it's a bit sexy and you know bloody it is very short 200 something pages but overall just the best vibes love how it's written love the characters love the story really just about several hundred years of abusive relationships so yeah it was very interesting to see how it evolved it's aware of this the whole time so it's not like it glorifies or supports this abusive relationship in any way but it just explains it how it happened and like how I was to live with it and it was just very interesting and just really a really wonderful book and starting off really really strongly for this vlog I think. I mean I expect Cecilia's taste to be really great so yeah. There is others I plan to do later where I'm actually more skeptical because I know they read very different kind of books than I usually do but Cecilia and I we feel like we are on the same you know area so we shall see how this vlog series go. I'm very excited for some of them if you know they turn out cool. We all just love the vibes in this one. I am thinking maybe five stars, like I could round it up to five stars very easily, but I will like keep the final final rating for, you know, the end of the vlog. I was planning to do one book a day, but I don't know if I have time. So I might film this over like a few weeks because I need to take a break from this vlog to read some other stuff I have to do. So you will see, you know, what my plans are. I don't really know yet. I need to read other stuff and see what I have time for afterwards. But yeah, my next read for today at least, because I'm continuing this today, 
It's another short one because I need the short ones right now. And that is Heaven by Mimieko Kawakami. So I have no idea what this is about. I don't want to read synopsis or anything because I usually don't anyway. And I am very excited to get to this and see what I feel about it. I will obviously update you later today when I have read it. It's under 198 pages, if I remember correctly. And obviously it is also, you know, I assume a Japanese author from the name of the author. I will read here, let's see. Kawakami lives in Tokyo, Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is a translated work as well. You know, I study Japanese, I love also, you know, generally reading from Asian authors, etc. But also especially Japan, since I live there and, you know, have a big interest in it. You already caught me. And I, you know, want to read more Japanese literature in general because I feel like I haven't read a lot. Like, I read a few, but I feel like I definitely should branch out and read more. So thank you for doing that for me as well, Cecilia. What I am skeptical about this, though, is that it seems to be like a literary fiction. <laughs> and I have, like, a hard time understanding the meaning of literary fiction sometimes but I actually don't know if it is because I haven't even checked the genre for this but I'm very excited for it you see my thoughts later and then I'm just oh I'm so excited okay so this is really fun loving the vibes already so I'm just very excited but yeah so now I'm gonna go and do other stuff in life and uh, you will see me later okay so it is the next next day I didn't vlog I think I don't actually remember because I finished it really late and then I went to bed. And then I finished this last night. It's a very short book. It's actually just 175 pages and it follows, of course I didn't write down names. I just realized, does he really have a name? Because, oh my God, why is this a thing? Every Japanese book I read, I feel like the main character just doesn't have a name. It's just so random. But either way, it follows this boy who is very much bullied at school. He also has a lazy eye and he believes this is why he's being bullied. And then he meets this other girl in his class, or doesn't meet her, but she starts sending him letters called Kojima. They start to form this friendship because they're both being bullied at school. While at school, they're just pretending they don't know each other and they're just pretending that like, they like don't talk every day through these letters that they leave for each other. And they meet sometimes and just talk and hang out. But not like a lot, but still like a little form of friendship that gives them kind of a happiness in their day. And then we just see him being really thoroughly in detail bullied. It's actually quite sad and hard hitting. And yeah, no, no, you're dealing with his limited vision sometimes because of his lazy eye. That's basically the whole book. It's definitely very <laughs> literary fiction, I would say. Like it's not a concrete plot, but it is about life. And what this book I think is trying to do in my opinion is trying to bring up this conversation where we have Kojima who is really in firm belief that everything is for a reason so the fact that they're being bullied this is for a reason in the universe the reason they have been chosen for this etc etc and there's a reason the bullies you know are doing it they will one day realize what they're doing etc etc and of course like I'm not saying that we all here for a reason, etc. But of course you would believe that the bullies, you know, don't really realize what they are doing is bad, kind of because they're kids. Not that that is an excuse, but hopefully one day they will wake up and realize what bad shit they have done. That's what I'm trying to say, because they don't always realize that when you're a kid. And then we have one of the bullies. And I'm just saying, I think like that's where like you could sit there and really consider your <laughs> uh, if you want to punch this book into the wall. One of the bullies is called Momose. I had like a feeling on him where I thought he was going to be the nicer bully. Can't really describe it. But either way, he meets our main character outside school and our main character goes over to him and is like, why are you bullying me? And they have this whole conversation over many, 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 many pages. This is chapter six in the book. I'm not spoiling really anything. It's not like a thing you can spoil. And I don't know why, but like the book made me want to fling it into the wall, but not in a bad way at all, but just the way Momosa talked about things. It's a way to look at things for sure, but it was also so cruel. So clearly I don't agree with him. I'm not saying he was right in any way, but there is like some parts of the conversation that was really interesting as well. Just interesting to think about, 
but he was not by any means correct and the way he was thinking was very much not worth taking responsibility for his own action in a way but at the same time in his head he thought he was and I felt like what to say like kind of gaslighted by the conversation because our main character was kind of really thoroughly I think being gaslighted and manipulated but the other character didn't even like I think mean to do so he thoroughly believed what he was saying but he made a main character like question all his beliefs, which was very, I would say, well done by the author how this was written. It was very fascinating, obviously very frustrating as well and very sad, but it was very fascinating. And that whole conversation kind of turns, I think, the tone of the book in a way. And it's definitely like, if I was reading it for like, like write an essay about this book or something, it's definitely like so many parts of the conversation, like the way you could discuss this book in a literary way, like fancy way. But overall, it was a sad story and I'm still a bit like, I don't know if I like loved it, but I definitely like, liked reading it. It was interesting. I felt for the characters a lot. I wanted them to be okay. But also I'm like, the ending, what was that? Like what, what, what happened in the end is very open-ended, of course. And I kind of felt I needed a bit more there, but it was still like, a good book it was a good book subjectively but for me like what i like in a book i am not sure but like it's not like i disliked it either because i did enjoy it so i'm, I'm very i'm very confused of like what i would like rate it i think like three stars sounds little so i think four stars is okay maybe like if i could round half stars it would be like three point seven to five for now so now I'm actually going to work and one side of my hair dried after showering. This side, but not this side. I don't understand why. <laughs> and I'm going to read a different book, not for this vlog at all. Because I need to finish my TBR for April. And then I will see you when I get back to this vlog again. So I'm going to totally forget everything I said so far in this vlog. But you will see. So talk to you soon whenever that is. And thank you for listening to all these rambly thoughts. I swear like I wasn't planning to film my whole vlog in the same place. It's just like this is where I am when I'm planning to film. I don't even know. But it's been a few days and I have finally continued this vlog. So I started with Bunny, which is the next one. I don't think I said what are the next ones. So I assume you don't know. And this is my Mona Abad. And it is a dark academia kind of book where we follow Samantha Mackie, who is in a master program at this really exclusive university. And the other girls in her class are kind of like really, really close friends where they all call each other Bunny. And they are like, oh my god, Bunny, I love you, Bunny, Bunny. <laughs> and then she gets involved with them and they do... I was gonna say weird shit together. The book kind of feels right now, I only read 210 pages. So obviously I have a bit under halfway left because it's like 373 or something. I will definitely finish this today. It feels like a fever dream where like weird stuff is happening and I don't really explain it. But like it's supposed to be like that. And so far the only thing, that's the only way I can like describe this book is literally it feels it feels like a fever dream. I don't know what else to say. It's definitely very weird, very dif different and weird kind of Dark Academia book. But like, I'm enjoying it. I'm definitely curious to see what will happen and what like, what it means and if like, if it means something, if we will get an explanation for anything, etc. But we shall see when I finish it. It's really, really weird right now. And I am, I am curious though. But yeah, this was the next number three of Cecilia's faves. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the first 210 pages. And um, now I'm gonna do stuff in life. So you would see me when you see me. I'm sorry for filming this whole vlog here, but I, I, I do tend to like want to film other places, but then it just never happens, okay? See you whenever you see me. I will probably finish this today, so probably tonight or tomorrow morning because I suck at vlogging in the night. This is a horrible position, but it's fine. Finish all my videos for Vida. Wait, I will put a book underneath you. This is, this is unstable, but it feels great. Like it feels amazing to be done. And I filmed four videos today, so I feel really productive and I'm gonna go and edit now. But I forgot that I haven't 
after this vlog. <laughs> totally off topic too, because I finished Bunny the day after I filmed my last clip, and now it's been two days and I have still not wrapped up my thoughts on the book. Whoops! Here's the book, by the way. So I finished it the day after, and it's a very weird book. Like, I'm not gonna spoil it, but really it's like a lot of up to interpretation, and I think it is trying to be confusing. So it knows it is confusing, and it's trying to be vague and confusing. And I don't mind books always doing that, but I feel like this almost gets so confusing, it confuses you so, like, it gets lost in its own way. Like, it gets lost in its own confusion, that's what I'm trying to say. But, like, I did enjoy it, but I'm also like, what did, what did I just read? What happened? But also, it doesn't need to have those answers to be enjoyable. And it didn't, it definitely didn't have any answers. <laughs> like, for real, it didn't. But I still, like, really, I, di I did enjoy it. But I wouldn't say it's, like, my favorite book or anything like that. But right now, my rating, I think, is on 3.5. I think 3 is too low, 4 is too big. A bit like with Heaven. But I will have, you know, some time on mull over it until, like, my last clip for this vlog. Because I need to read two more books for this vlog that I, you know, already own and everything. But I probably won't be until next month as I am filming this. Because now we are in April, in the end of April. Depends a bit, actually, how the next few days go. I might get to one more. But the last two are pretty thick compared to these. So, yeah. But they're also by Asian authors. And May is Asian month. So, those two would be perfect for that month, anyway. Because they're still Asian authors. You will see. You will see how, what happens. But, yeah. I, I did enjoy it. But it was also confusing. It's a really weird book. But it's supposed to be weird. And in my head, I really, like, really imagine it as a movie. So I feel like watching it as a movie would be like a fever dream experience, but I would totally watch it, you know. Okay, so that is my thoughts so far, but I will try to sum it up a bit more for the end of the video. My favorite so far is obviously A Downward Ball. That was amazing and like totally up in my, I was gonna say alley. But I have enjoyed the other ones too. They're both really weird in their own ways, but I still enjoy them because like it's really interesting to read those kind of books too, you know. I don't regret reading any of them so far. Ow, I just punched myself in my glasses and you would see me whenever you see me. Hi! Okay, so it's been, I don't know how long it's been actually, but it's been a week or something or more. And I finally started the next look for this vlog, which is out by Natsuo Kirino. This one I don't know much about. I just know it is kind of a thriller or something. It needs to be, you know, for the cover. And I only read so far today like 18 pages and it seems to be like about a factory worker. I assume someone is gonna die or something is bad is gonna happen there and then we're gonna be like, why? But yeah, luckily for me, two next of Cecilia's favorite books are Asian, so I could read them in May for Asian Readathon as well. This one is actually the thickest one. It's like over 500 pages or like right under. I don't actually remember. So yeah, but hopefully I will finish this tomorrow, but we shall see. But that's my hopes, and then I will update you then. But yeah, I'm starting. I start the next book, and I'm very excited. Yay! Okay. Go away. So it's been like a day, and this is a really bad angle. But I finished out today, and I was talk more about it in the morning when I'm not here, and it's so late. But I really enjoyed it, and more thoughts tomorrow. Yay, I'm not even in focus. <laughs> this is a vlog of very angles, but it's fine. So, as I said yesterday, I did finish out. I'm not trying to find out what it says in the synopsis so I don't spoil you guys. No push, no push, no push, no push. There we go. Don't be a troll face. Oh my god, this synopsis is like half the book. I just read the synopsis on Google. Just don't read that because it literally, like, I didn't read the synopsis before. And, like, I didn't know this was happening. But, like, literally synopsis is, like, literally the whole book. It will literally spoil you. I said literally 14 times there. What I'm gonna say is that it follows the story of four women that works in this factory and then one of them needs help dismembering a body and that's what they do together and they have each other's back in that way and then the story the wall from there like that's all i'm gonna say because literally do not read this analysis it would ruin the story for you because you would know what is gonna turn out a lot of stuff comes out of this obviously it's really fun it's kind of like humoristic i thought it would be like a scary trailer where we would find like a killer or something but it's more like humoristic and cute in a way not cute but like the characters are really distinct as well it's really written really great where they all like have their thing and you kind of like really feel you get to know them as well as the writing being really strong like it's really like detailed and nice 
Um, but yeah, I really was intrigued in the beginning. I thought it was really fun, like, not fun dismembering about it. It was really interesting to see these characters do it. It gets a bit grotesque, just saying. But also, in the end, I was a bit bored because there was kind of, like, a different plot and it wasn't as intriguing to me at the beginning. But I do see, like, it kind of needed, like, a, a sort of final. But it was also a bit, like... I don't really care about this, kind of. Definitely look up trigger warnings for sexual assault, rape, and murder, and really bloody other things happening. So, yeah. But overall, <laughs> I liked it a lot. It was really good. It was really well thought out, etc. story. So I think I'm giving it a strong quarter of high stars. I'm really curious to see how I will like rank these in the end of the video. Because you've been seeing this right after one another. But for me now, it's been a few weeks. And the last book I'm reading for this vlog is A Tale from the Time Being by Rich Oseki. I have heard amazing things. But I also feel like it's a kind of book that might be too smart for me. But we shall see. So it's not as thick as the other one. And it's not as much text. So I'm thinking I will read it today and tomorrow. This vlog will finally be done tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, yeah, you shall see. Woohoo! Okay, so it's obviously the next night slash day. <laughs> I don't know. It's actually the next next day because technically it's over midnight. It's like 2am. And today I did start A Tale of the Time Being. I'm kind of excited because this is a lot of work for this vlog, you know. And it's like I want it to be over, but it's like kind of fun because this is the first vlog I'm doing like this and it's exciting. But yeah, we'll probably wrap it up tomorrow then. I did read a, a, almost exactly half of the book. I read 216 pages and it's like 434 or something. So almost exactly half. And I am enjoying it. It's like very adult fiction, I would say, but like Asian, which I do appreciate a lot or like Japanese in this case but it's basically about Ruth who is the name of the author just really realized that finds this Hello Kitty suitcase on the beach she's living on she's living on like this little ty island up in Canada somewhere I don't know geography so yeah and then in this box there is like a notebook that is kind of a story of this girl who lived in Japan and then also some letters that she has not yet translated where I am at, but like there's some letters there, just, I would assume it'd be like a huge revelation thing. And it tells the story of this girl in Japan that actually lived a few years in the States, so she was a story in English. And then she moved back to Japan after her dad was sacked. And then it's just her being like bullied. And then there's this one summer where she lives with her great grandma at this temple. And it's very, very like that part of the story is very intriguing to me i'm really curious to see what will happen to her because we don't know and as well as written now in like our time i don't know if it's actually our time because i think it's like a bit like a, a few years ago like it's not like 2022 it's like a few years after the tsunami in 2011 or not years after i don't know exactly how long after but it's after that either way point is like in present time kind of where with this she like is trying to google and like trying to find out that this girl was real if this story is real and it's very like will we find a connection between them and i'm very curious to see like if that will happen as well it says, like, in this synopsis, weaving across continents and decades, A Tale for the Time Being is an extraordinary novel of our shared humanity and a search for home. And I'm just curious to see, like, if the show is really good. Like, but, like, I feel like that would be, like, too big of a, you know, coincidence. But definitely, like, I'm feeling like something will, like, wrap up and make sense. I don't never know. But we shall see. We shall see. I am, however, excited for it. And, like, I, I am liking it, even though I do think the parts where we follow... The, the girl's life now is her name i'm much more interesting right now like as i don't really care about this island where it lives on there's a lot about the island life and i just like i couldn't care less mommy noble in those kinds of books where one perspective is kind of more interesting than the others i am really enjoying it i definitely when tomorrow i'll probably wrap up like all the books and stuff it's definitely vlog it's definitely books that like i probably would have read at some point but i'm like glad i picked them up like, in the end, it doesn't matter when exactly, though. But, like, I'm glad I picked them up. And, like, this law made me pick them up. Because it's, like, different books than I usually would pick up. But it's definitely books I would want to read and have interest in still. But I will probably, like, pick them for something specific in a way. That's my thoughts for now. I am starting to see, you know, this curve of the story. I will try to finish it tomorrow. But I am reading it much slower. Because it's adult fiction for some reason I read slow. But... I'm still having a good time. I'm very curious, even though it is a slow-paced story, I would say. Because, like, our main character literally told us something was gonna happen. 
that she was going to write about this summer. And the summer itself hasn't, like, even played out yet. And we've been, like, off, like halfway in the book. So, yeah. In that sense, it is slow. But it's still interesting. But, yeah. I'm going to go to bed now. And you will see me tomorrow. Maybe for the last clip. We shall see. Maybe I will film too. It depends a bit what time uh, it is. But, yeah. You will see me then. Okay. So, I did finish A Tale from Time Winning today. I did really enjoy it. It was a beautiful tale. It was quite sad as well, I would say. Trigger one is for suicide and stunted bullying and attempted rape, I would say. I'm a trigger one is for this. It's quite a dark and sad book. It still has, like, beautiful parts where you feel like there's some kind of happy ending, I would say. And I did like how the story connected in the end and where the characters kind of ended up. And I did feel more for, like... The, the like the present tense story after a while like I did say yesterday that was like my least favorite part and I would say like the part with now of course was like my favorite and like I really really want to read them like all the time it's really a story about now she says she's gonna write about her grandma or great grandma but it was really a story about her and it was kind of beautiful I will be honest really did enjoy this and I said I was gonna finish this vlog today but I do want to like sit down and like kind of rank all the books in the end which is like kind of the point of this video but like I'm going to bed and I'm tired so I'm gonna do that tomorrow or like the day after whenever that fits me <laughs> before I post this video so like a lot when I said I was gonna finish it today not that it matters to you because you're gonna watch this when you watch this anyway but I did finish all the book for this vlog and I'm gonna let them brew more in my brain at least I mean, some have already brewed for a while now. And you will see me for the last clip after this. Yay! Okay, hello, hello. I think it's time for me to end this vlog. It has been going on now. For maybe not as long as I think it has. Maybe like two weeks or something, I don't know. And wrap up my thoughts on the five favorite books of Cecilia's. At least the five favorite books that I read. We had one more, but I can read that because I already read it. But the five favorite books for this video, which is here. Now we finally have them all together. I was trying to like surprise you all, you know, like revealing one book at a time. But now we have them all together. And I will try to like rank them, give my final rating. And then we gotta end this video. Also look at all the yellow pages, except a downward blood, lol. So obviously I started out with a downward blood. That was the first one I read. Uh, and this is five out of five stars still. I loved it so much. It was so good. Like a favorite for like the whole month of April. And I absolutely adored it. So, yeah, this is number one. <laughs> I should have maybe started from the bottom up, maybe I started from the top then. This is number one. Loved it so much. Cecilia said I would love it and I knew I would. So yeah, that's also like, you know, the only fantasy in here. I guess you could say Bunny and A Tale for the Time Being has magical aspects to the stories, but it's not like a fantasy book. And you know, the rest turned out weird. I'm not saying like this is not weird, because you know, Vampires is kind of weird, but like, it's weird. They all have really weird vibes in different ways. So I do think Cecilia has a really varied taste and like, I really appreciate that. And like, I felt like I get to read a lot of different things because of this vlog. These are all books I think I can imagine myself wanting to read anyway. I mean, I already own bunnies. I was going to read that anyway. Like, this pushed me to reading them and I really appreciate, like, the difference in genre and, like, the difference in what I read. So, yeah, you know, this is a vampire, I would say, fantasy queer book. And then we had Heaven, oh god, who's, which is, like, really literary fiction following bullying. I'm not saying that the bullying here was right, but it's really like, why are you being bullied? Kind of you question that a lot. I'm like, it's not really answered, but it's fascinating. We have Bunny, who's like a dark academia, super weird book, which is super confusing. Also, I guess literary fiction. I mean, all of these are kind of. And then we have Out, who follows like factory workers who decide to chop off a body. I mean, like, what? Like, I thought this would be scary, but it was kind of just like a thriller. Bit like a fun aspect. Fun. <laughs> and title of the time being, being like a story about life and like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like how things meet together, how sad things affect you, how you're depressed, but also can find lightness in the end. Not exactly that commentary we've been bringing in the tsunami that happened in 2011 and other world disasters and world changing things and bringing them all in and seeing like how it affects people. Like, for example, 9-11 as well is mentioned here. I mean, yeah, it's like a tale of the time being. Like, really is. Like, it's a tale of life and, like, how different people they are. Like, World War Two is, like, also prominent here. A temple, I feel like, really, like, has different pieces of life bringing them together. So it's really, like, that kind of story. Like, they have all so different vibes. I kind of, like... Yeah, it's really weird to have them all, like, in one vlog. Because if you have them all together, you can't really compare them. But, yeah, okay, let's do a little ranking. So, as I said... 
that with blood, number one. Five out of five stars. I would say that I gave all of these four stars, basically. Like, around four stars. None of them has gotten three stars. That is too low. But yeah, now I, I need to pick. And I'm looking at them. And I kind of know which one is my least favorite. But I don't, like, know which one comes after Down with Blood. This is difficult. <laughs> I'm just thinking about not just, like, you know, not necessarily, like, the quality of the story or, like, how well it's written, but, like, my enjoyment of it. So, uh, yeah, I think I got it. I think the next one would be in second place out. Just because I was so intrigued into these people's lives and how it would affect them with the honey's body. And, like, it was very, very intriguing. And, like, very, like, oh, my God, are they gonna get caught? You know, that kind of feeling. However, like, I didn't love how the story developed, but it's still, like, a really solid book. The next one, I think, would be, I'll tell you for the time being, because I do love myself a book where it's, like, life is beautiful, kind of. And I was so invested in our story and wanting her to be okay, just like Ruth was in the story. I was so invested in now I want to be okay that that kept me going deeply inside of me. It made me feel a lot of things. And then the next one was Heaven, because while I did enjoy, like, the discussion in this book as well, but it's, like, also short, and it leaves you very open ended but, like, I don't mind that. But it's also, like, it kind of all of this does kind of leave you open and less be real, but, like, you know, that's life. Like, the discussion is in here, and it brought in my city story, but it was a bit weird, but, like, yeah. And then Bunny is sadly, like, on fifth place. But you have to remember that I enjoyed all of these, but this is just, just me ranking them. This is still, like, I think a 3.75 stars. So, like, I would rate it four stars to round it up, not three stars. But the thing that bothered me about this is that it was too vague and too confusing for me to see the solid story in it. And I know some people love that, but for me, it's not enough to, like, make it a five-star read. Like, I think it lost me trying to be so confusing as possible. It lost me in the story. And I'm sitting here left, like, what was the point? What was the story? I know that that was what it's trying to do. But it confuses me, you know? But I won't say I would. I don't like it. And I don't regret reading it. But, like, it's not my favourite, you would say. Like, it's a book I enjoyed. But I enjoyed others more. So I think that's my ra ranking. I hope that made sense of why. But you have to, again, remember, like, none of these were ones I read. And overall, as you see this... Taste is very impeccable, but I already knew this. You know, we've been reading books together for our book club for years now. And I know kind of the vibe they like to read. I appreciated the vibes. I really think they all gave something different. So that's very interesting. And, you know, I am planning to do more vlogs in this series. And I think it's very interesting to see what kind of books people love. Like, their favorite favorites. And I just enjoyed this a lot. It was really fun. It prompts me to read other things that I might not be interested in. What if I ask someone that like only reads nonfiction? That would be an experience. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope it was kind of intriguing for you. Of course, remember to subscribe to Cecilia. I will obviously have them linked down below and I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a vampire emoji down below if you enjoyed this in honor of the of blood and you will see me soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, as I said. Hope you're excited for me to do this with more booktubers. Tell me down below who you want me to do. Because, like, I have a vague list in my head. And it's going to take me a while to, like, do one. Because I need to get the books. I need to fit into my reading, etc. I'm also reading now, like, outside my normal TBR. Plus this, you know. So it's... It will take a while. But I am very excited. And I had a great time. See you soon. Bye! <laughs>